Testing one, two, mic check. Testing, testing one, two. Testing one, two, mic check. Testing, testing, mic check, testing one, two. And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome here to another broadcast here on Vibe Live. As we here at Caden for the season finale here in A-Leaf ISD between the A-Leaf Taylor Lions facing off against the Elsick Rams. And these two teams right now, just trying to finish the season strong. No playoff implications on the line for either ball club as Taylor Coming into this ball game, three and six, two and four in district play. And as far as Elsick, also they're four and five, two and four in district play. Now, we've seen on that first drive here for Taylor, they had some things going. Actually, on the second play, a fumble, and that fumble was recovered by the, by the Rams, and now they're already threatening in red zone territory. Force a turnover and get in the red zone. Yeah, key play there for the Rams. <clears throat> As they get a quick turnover now, Elsick suffered a big loss against Hastings, 40 to 24, and the Lions actually defeated Hastings, 34 to 6. So a little contrast in the styles. Here's the Elsick Rams here to try to pa. Oh, excuse me, the field goal attempt, and that is. Good, making it 3-0 here in the first quarter, 9.30, as the Rams are the first team to get on the board. Good job by the Lions with the bend not break style defense, not allow six. As we're here at beautiful Crump Stadium, live here in A-League, Texas, towards the west side of Houston. As the a -Leaf Taylor will be in the blue and red uniforms and Elsie will be down in the all white with the blue stripes. Get ready for kickoff. There are the Rams. As the ball falls off the tee. to lead the Lions offense. You have Logan Gray, junior quarterback. Listen at 5'11", plays much bigger than that. And he's gonna run a simple inside zone play. That's gonna be stopped after a gain of one. On a carry. I see the number here. That was Dylan Harris, wide receiver on the carry. Jackson and Doye also listed at tailback. So far as 3-0 Rams here in the first quarter. Here's a quick jet sweep. Trying to get to the outside. And able to turn the corner briefly and pick up a Lions first down on the carry. That's how that was Jaden Brickham. It's a nice jet sweep there. Caught the defense a little off guard. And Kaden, we start to see a lot more of these teams utilize the jet sweep in their offensive structure. You know, 
game plan. Just get these linebackers' eyes and the pause them. For that split second, just in case you want to run up the middle. Here's another jet sweep. I'm pretty sure he's going to fake it and keep it and go up the middle. But that time, Elsick was waiting on him. Making a play in the backfield. That's going to be Zion Omo, the deep junior defensive tackle here for the Rams. He swallowed that play up rather quickly and ensuring there was no breakaway. Here we are, second and ten here for the Lions. Odin Gray and the shotgun. Pressure already. And he tries to deliver oh. a quick screenplay that was beautifully read there by the Elsa defense. Jalen Cooper Price getting in some pressure there, the junior. Here's Gray on third down, finding number five, hits him. Staying on his feet, finally tackled out of bounds. Across the other side of the field. Yeah, that's Brandon Barrera there at that time on the reception. Able to keep get ahead and pick up a big first down here for the Lions. Trying to answer after that turnover on that first drive. Beautiful weather here tonight for some football. It was beautiful all day today, Kate. I don't know about you, but I was like, man, that's a good day to go to the park and you know, enjoy yourself. But even better day for some football. As this is the final. Ooh. Game of the season is a bobble to snap there by Logan Gray. And he's going to be tackled for a major loss. It's Navy and Phillips, defensive end, getting in on the action there. Set this one up. Here's Gray again. And that's going to be ball is batted at the line of scrimmage. Nice job getting his hands up on that one. It's an Avian Phillips, the senior defensive end. Let's go set up a third and 15 here. Here's Logan Gray, pressure from the perimeter. And that pass sells too high, incomplete. And that's gonna bring up an early fourth down here as the Lions will send out their punting unit. The Lions had a good defensive possession to uh, open the game given their circumstance. So, yeah. we'll see if they can keep this one tight here. Yeah, they, they you know, got the they, they got on the field on the defense, man. Already in negative territory. The offense for the Elsick had the ball at the 22 yard line and wasn't able to pick up much yardage. As we're going to get a delay of game here, and that's going to drop them back five yards. Maybe, maybe attentional there for the Lions, give their punter some extra room. Here's a punt, high snap, gets it down, as this is a booming punt, and it's going to be bounced out right at that 39-yard line as well, else it will take over. Oh, so they're going to say at the 42-yard line. So right now for Elson, had a pretty good drive. You know, they get had great field position. Now they get the ball on their side of the football field, right at the 42-yard line is where do we kick things off? Here he is. And this is 
quickly. Snap, he's going to roll out right, trying to make a play. Runs over a defender like a battering ram and just continues to fight forward and picks up big yardage on the play. Close to a first down. That was Eric. That's it. On a carry. Here's Eric. Home fakes. Feels pressure. And again, just being a physical quarterback. Wow. Lowering his shoulder, picking up the first down. A little, you know, quarterback runs here. Setting the tone here for the Rams. Again, scoring on their first drive up 3-0 to zero in this ball game. 5.31 to go here in the first quarter. Nice job by Eric Dadzi using his big size at 6'2", 220. Lowering the shoulder, moving the chains. That's a big quarterback. Even at the NFL level, that's a big quarterback. Here's Eric. He's going to hand this one off. And able to fall forward there, Ty. Pick up a game of two. That's Marco Savoy, senior tailback, 6'5", 10, 190. Complete here. There's a be knocked down pass that time. It's gonna set up third and eight. Third and eight here for the Rams. As they so far up three to zero, doing a good job here of Controlling the line of scrimmage on offense and defense. Got that early turnover to go up three. Here's a snap. He's going to drop back, and he's going to roll out right in that time. Oh. Rolled up there as the pressure gets to him. Pierre Yamba coming in from the outside. <laughs> That's going to set up a fourth and very long here for the Elsick Rams. And as you said, Caden, the defense held up pretty well for the position. They got the football. And this time again, getting the ball back to the offense very quickly. Now, defender trying to hurry up, get off the field so they can snap it in time as they don't. And a very high. This could be blocked. And it might be running into the kicker. No flags. I am so shocked that wasn't blocked. It looked like it was most certainly going to be. Yeah, a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of things could have went wrong there as we have a penalty on the field. A late flag. Yeah, very late flag coming out. They're going to attack on an extra 15 yards here for the Lions. Uh, that, actually, they're going to back them back. I was curious why they was marching. Towards the east end here. But they're going to actually back them back and they're going to start things off inside the 10 yard line. Right at the 8 is where they're marking it. As the Lions are going to take over here and try to run another inside zone play. And that's to be quickly stopped. Mm -hmm. 
It's going to be a loss of one on the play, bringing up second and 11. Second 11 here for the Lions. Snaps to the right a little bit. Another inside zone play. And so far, Ailey Taylor trying to establish the line of scrimmage. Third and eight here for the Lions as they're going to go empty set. Nolan Gray trying to pick up a key first down here for Taylor. Takes a snap and he's going to try to take things to his own hands with nowhere to go. Wrapped up by this defense and as Elsick again this defense standing tall. Both defenses in this match not allowing much in the opening quarter at least. As let's go set up fourth down here. And so far three possessions, one turnover and two punts. Looks like it's gonna be for the Lions. Doesn't get too much under it. As it's going to be out of bounds right at the 38-yard 30, line is where Elsick will take over. 143 to go here in the first quarter. Snap up the middle and just shoe straight tackle there. Marco Savoy. Yeah, Marco Savoy able to pick up uh, some good yardage here for the Rams. And a first down. There's a the snap. much going that time on another quarterback power here for Eric. It's going to result in a gain of one, setting up second and nine. Here's Eric, going to take the snap. Another carry here for Savoy. A lot of inside zones here from both ball clubs. And right now the defensive line is winning on each side. Pierre Yamba making another nice play for the Lions. That's going to look like it's going to be the final play here in the first quarter as the Lions are trailing 0-3 to three to the Elsick Rams. They're watching Pipe Live.
as we welcome you back here to Bite Blind live from Crump Stadium here in Houston, Texas. I'm Jim Trey, joined by Caden. As right now the Rams are up 3 0, and I'm going to try to throw this across the field. That's going to be an incomplete pass. Also, Caden, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm coming out of retirement here on the camera work. You know, I'm trying to operate the camera. I'm not saying I'm the best cameraman, but I'm going to do the best I can to bring you guys some great camera shots here. I think you're doing an excellent job working with what we got, Gentry. <laughs> <laughs> As the Elf and his refs, they're going to line up for another field goal. Oh, we almost got him offside. So yeah, they're going to call that. Add an extra five yards. See the Rams might even think about going for it here. I see uh I see Eric coming back on the football field. Yeah, they, yeah, this is way more manageable. That penalty makes things a little more interesting. Yeah. Now again, Elsick, they, they're at four or five, you know, opportunity in the season. Record. Not much playoff implications here in this ball game. High snap. Here's Eric trying to outplay the defense. He's going to turn up field and know where to go. And that's going to be a turnover on downs as the Lions defense standing tall. What a first 12 minutes and 13 seconds to win for this defense. Absolutely. I love the play I've been seeing from Pierre Yamba for the Lions. Yeah, Pierre Yamba, he, he's been just a menace coming off that edge and, and causing all types of havoc so far for the Rams in this offense. And start things off, here's another inside zone play. It also comes a penalty flag. Additional 15 yards for the personal foul. Oh, pass batted away. Well, a lot of these seniors, 99% of these guys, it's going to be the last time they ever get to throw on the helmet and shoulder pass and as their football careers come to the end and all these young men will go on to prosper in many other areas of life. He is making some moves, get to the outside. This is Logan Gray. They to pick up the first down there, I'm close to it. Just short, setting up a third and two. Wise decision taking off with that one. And to your point, Gentre, yeah, I'm sure a lot of these seniors and young men who've been playing this game for as long as they can remember, it is probably very bittersweet as this chapter comes to an end of their playing career. But like you said, bittersweet because they get to tackle other areas in life and excel. That's right. We are third and two here for the Lions. Inside zone plays been at bread and butter as they go back to it again. And this time they're going to pick up a first down. In 
inside 11 minutes remaining in the first half. Personnel here for the Lions are going to go empty backfield. There's Logan Gray. He feels the pressure. He is sacked that time. Ikora, defensive end. I, I saw him uh, bat a pass down earlier. That excellent play. Nice play there by Anyone. Anyone Ikachi Ikoro. On the play. Here's Gray with the inside zone. He's going to fake it and keep it himself as he's able to dive ahead and pick up minimum yardage there, probably back to the line of scrimmage. So far, this Elsick defense pitching a shutout. Yeah. This Elsick defense is playing very well. As the play clock's under four seconds, the Lions are going to have to quickly snap it or call a timeout here. And they snapped it right at the one second mark. And nowhere to go that time from Logan Gray. As right now, trailing three to zero. You know, you like to see a little bit more sense of urgency here in the offense, but this might be the Lions game plan. Slow the game down, milk as much time off the clock, and limit the possessions for the Rams. Yeah, and it's one way to keep your defense off the field. Or, excuse me, yes, your defense off the field, uh, controlling the game clock. and um, It's been interesting to see this chess match play out so far. Yeah, very interesting chess match of these. This is going to be a very beautiful punt here, and that's going to take... A oh. great roll, just couldn't get there in time, and that's going to be a touchback, and the Rams will start things out at the 20-yard line. Eight twenty-seven to go. Go here in the second quarter. Eric in that quarterback. He's going to run a keeper of his own. A lot of quarterback keepers so far in this ball game. Inside zone quarterback keepers utilizing the extra blocker here from each team. Nice pickup of about three or four on that. See why they want to keep this defense fresh with the Lions. This defense when rested, to play lights out. So as an offensive man, you just want to keep this defense and the ball as much as you can. As a major player on the field. Thank you. 
As this is going to be third and seven here. Good snap. Pressure in his face already for Eric. And as he goes down that time, it's going to take a loss of five on the play. Linebacker Malcolm Haven in on the action. Making a nice play. Setting up for uh, getting the ball back. Nice job here for this defense again. Another three and now. And so far. So far this defense doing a great job. Just playing with their playing their butts off. As it'll be fair caught right there at the 45 yard line. 624 to go here in the second quarter. This half has gone by pretty quick, Kate. It really has. There hasn't been too many incompletions. Uh, both teams are trying to uh, establish the run game early. And, yeah. Uh, each team getting a few first downs, but not really mustering up a ton of yardage in the uh, trenches. So far, at least. <laughs> we'll yeah. see how it ensues. All it takes is one play to pop, and the entire game can change. As they're going to hand this one off up the middle, and is able to pick up maybe a yard here for the Lions. Again on the carry, that is Jackson Odoye. I see the coach is getting a play call in here from the, they're sending out signals, but Luckily, we don't have any uh, Michigan fans here, so it's not going to be an issue. Here's a jet sweep as he pulls this one in. Able to dash it forward there, pick up a gain of three. Third and six. And it drops back, and that one's incomplete there. Late flag coming and in. And there's a late flag coming in as well. And they're going to be able to pick up a first down if it is defensive holding. At the 40 on the right hash mark. And I say it's a perfect night. I'm talking beautiful weather, 68 degrees. Can't ask for any better weather than that. And that's past east of dirt that time, falling sh just short of his attendant target, Brandon Barrera. I got an opportunity to see Brandon Barrera. Probably like four weeks ago. And he's a very dynamic player in the open field. Uh, if they could get the ball to him, he could he can definitely make a lot of guys miss in open space. Yeah, I've noticed they've targeted him a few times, just unable to connect so far. But he seems to be involved in their uh, game plan. Logan Gray changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's going to hand this off to Adoye. Adoye reaches forward, able to pick up a gain of three here. backfield 
Steps up and takes a big hit there. It's just level. Nowhere to go there for Logan Gray. This Elsick defense, I I've been very impressed with them. Forcing turnovers, being physical, and right now they're they're dominating this matchup. I'm, I agree with you, Gentry. I've been impressed with them too, and to stay so uh, calm and poised after the penalty. Yeah. And to just remain focused and cause yet another punt if they can hold serve here. As right now, the Lions looking like they're going to go for keeping their offense on the field. With their defense playing the way they are, I don't blame them. Defense has been playing well, but this could also be a uh, punt as well. Is this going to be a quick timeout here for the Lions? And we'll take a timeout with them. You'll watch Fight Block. Welcome back here to Vibe Live. As you can see here with Vibe Live, we have you covered. Any sport, any age, any time, Vibe Live will be there to cover the event. Just reach out to the Vibe facilities and we'll have you covered. Also, if you're watching on the YouTube channel, please leave a like and subscribe for continuous coverage here on Vibe Live as we have you covered throughout all high school sports and youth sports. Here's Logan Ray going for it on a fourth down attempt. It's going to be a deep shot. This is Barrera just talking about him. Wow. And he gets into the end zone as finally the Lions are roaring here at Crump Stadium. Brandon Barrera just wide open. In for six. Excellent play there. And we kept seeing the run play over and over again here for the Lions. And they was, you know, just lulling that secondary sleep. It was kind of like a boxer. He's just waiting to finally throw his final haymaker. And that time the haymaker landed for the Lions. As PAT is good. And right, the Lions, quick straight answer on a big time fourth down. A 40 yard touchdown reception there by Barrera. As the Lions lead this one 7 to 3 over the Elsa Rams. As we're back here on Vibe Live and getting ready to kick off here for the Ram, for the Lions. As I can go out of bounds. The Rams will have over three and a little over three and a half minutes in this half to drive down the field and make something happen.
Here's Eric in the gun. 11 personnel here for the Rams. Going to hand this one off to Savoy. Savoy sheds a couple of tackles. Able to dive ahead and pick up nine yards on that first carry. Rams going to pick up the tempo here. Another carry for Savoy. And that time picking up a big first down for the Rams. How about Marco Savoy? Yeah, he's, he's been very dynamic for the Rams. He's been their playmaker as they've been looking for his number. High snap over the head of Eric and Eric's just going to have to fall on it and take a big loss here as the snap has been an issue here for the Rams. As that's going to set up a second and long here as Billy. Flag is thrown. And as Eric's able to dash ahead and pick up some positive yardage here for the Rams. I want to say that first down was a loss of 20. But it was hard to tell. Yeah, I, I was trying to count it from the sticks from up here, but I, <laughs> I my math didn't go. I, I couldn't math that one. <laughs> Too bad we're not in Baton Rouge with the five yard number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Baton Rouge, how about that big game this weekend, LSU and Alabama? Oh. That's going to be a dandy. This is, this is the perfect, to me, this is my favorite time of year. Mm. You got basketball going, you got football right in the heart of it, all the good matchups. And I, I'm just, you know, like, you know, as a sports fan, couldn't ask for anything better. I'd have to agree with you on that. Here's a snap here, quick screen pass, low speed, incomplete pass, pass just too low. And the clock will stop 2.13 to go here in the second quarter. Third and 25 here for the Rams. Is Eric going to try to set the screen up again? That's nearly intercepted. Great hands there. Maybe get his hands up and bat that one down. Billy Taylor defense again. That, that was Kerry Spryers getting in on the action there. The sophomore. One of the young players here on this building program here at A-Leaf Taylor. As they get ready to punt this one away. As that one will be finally... Touchdown at the 38-yard line is where the Lions will take over. Exactly two minutes to go here before halftime as Logan's going to run a quick RPO. That's quick. That's complete over the middle of the field. Christopher Robinson on the reception. But there's a penalty fill in the backfield.
They call holding on that? Yeah, they're going to call holding here on Alliance, which is going to bring it back here for first and 20. in Barrera's direction. Barrera able to corral that one and get pretty close back to the original line of scrimmage. Might be short, just about two yards. Clock continues to move here. A minute 14 to go, second and 12. Low snap. Pressure in his face. Rolls out. Evades it. And he's going to go out of bounds, but another penalty comes flying here from the back judge. Looks like another holding penalty. Yeah, it's going to be another holding hit penalty here. And again, just, I, you know, penalty set back to Lions. Drops back, and he's going to look in the direction of Barrera. Barrera tracks the ball and nearly comes down with that one. And, wow, you can see Barrera's receiving ability on that. Slowed down, but then he tracked the ball midair and went to go make a play on it. But it was just too far out of bounds. Excellent focus just to stay with that and get some hands on that. Thirty-five seconds left in this first half. It's gonna send his tail back in motion again, looking for Barrera, and this is caught. What a catch there by Barrera, making the first down. And I, man, this kid is special. He sure is. Brandon Barrera had himself a touchdown earlier in this game, and here he is continuing to make big plays for the Lions. But there is another flag on the play here. going to call a legal procedure six guys lined up on the line of scrimmage here for Taylor and that's just gut riching after a big play there by Barrera three straight penalties here on the Lions with well, three penalties on this drive alone As it'll be also a 10 second runoff here.
And it looks like the Taylor, they're just going to take this one into the half as they lead this one 7-3 over Elsick. And what a great half here from both ball clubs. But right now, Taylor leading this one. So we'll be back right after this. Enjoy the halftime show by both fans. As we'll take a beat right back for the second half.
as we welcome you back here to Vibe Live. As right now, Taylor leads this one seven to three over A Leaf Elsick. We hope you enjoyed the halftime band performances. A couple of classes being played by each team. As the Elsick Rams will receive things, and as they leave Taylor, we'll get ready to kick kick it off here. You know, something interesting. I was uh, watching Taylor as Torian Roberts, the backup senior quarterback. I seen him warming up. It is senior night, and the season finale for both ball clubs. Here on the return, getting up field, and has a host of blockers around him. Spin move. Stays on his feet and able to get to the 50, well, excuse me, the 46-yard line here. What a return there. That was Taylor Hughes from, from Elsick already in Taylor territory. We'll see if that play has any carryover effect. That's one heck of a way to start things off on special teams. He's going to hand this off again as he's able to pick up some yardage. That's Marco Savoy on the carry. Yeah, that's some strong popcorn. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> hey, I can smell the popcorn from all the way in here. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Can hand this off. And here's Savoy. Is he able to chuck ahead and pick up another game or two? It's gonna make the third down a little more manageable. Yeah, we're already seeing here for the. Elsick Rams offense are coming out and trying to get things going. I'm liking how they start things off with a quick spark here in the early in the third quarter. I formation. First time they lined up in this all night. And he's going to be stopped and met in the backfield, making a play. Just completely eradicating things at the line of scrimmage. That was Taylor Lee. This family is also in the stands as well. Help me confirm the rosters. <laughs> and this is going to be fourth and four here. There's a quickly snap and a timeout early on in the third quarter. 10-11. The Rams already use, utilizing one of the three timeouts. We'll take a timeout with them as you're watching. My blood. As back here, fourth and four for the Elsick Rams. Going to bring back on their offensive unit. Eric Daisy comes back on the football field. Again, back lined up in this I formation. Okay, this is my favorite formation in Madden. I formation. Going to run a quick quarterback sprint out here to the bottom of your screen. And uh, let's see. That is... Just enough for a first down, big time play there for Eric Dazi. Malcolm Haven on the tackle, but unable to stop them before the Rams they were able to get a first down. Yeah, 
And senior night here for Taylor. A lot of seniors on this ball club. Don in the A. Lee Taylor jersey for the last time here. As Dazi's going to keep this one. Quickly cuts up field as he's able to pick up a gain of seven on the play. Excuse me, a gain of six on the play. And that's going to be second and four here for the, for the Rams. Now the Elsick Rams, their helmets kind of look like the Rams, uh, the LA Rams a little bit with the little actual little horns on each side. I like that decal look. Here's a snap. Eric drops back, looks left, and this is a dot. Pass interference, multiple flags coming out of nowhere. As Dejon Patterson, the sophomore, being held that time it's gonna move this Elsick Rams offense into the red zone great territory here for the Rams an opportunity to punch it in Ball's going to be placed at the 14-yard line. And again, another handoff here for Savoy. Not much traction there. Eight twenty to go here in the third quarter. Seven to three lead here for the Lions. As Elsig putting together a nice drive, open things up here in the third quarter. As Eric Dazi is going to be dropped there on the play, and Pilly Flash coming late here. As it'll be first down here for the Rams. He's gonna run another quarterback rollout here, and he is nearly sacked. Get gets this one off and incomplete pass there for Elsie. Spring pressure again by Pierre Yamba. Yeah, Pierre Yamba, he's been doing a good job of just beating this guy off the edge and getting into the getting into the backfield and just making plays after plays, disrupting this offense here for the Rams. Split backfield for Dazi. He's gonna quickly look right and throw this one up. And that's gonna be a touchdown here for Elsick. He started this half off. That's Tyron Hughes with the big touchdown reception. And that's going to make it 9-7 to seven here in the third quarter. Oh. 
Here's Christopher Marino for the PAT. Knocked down a field goal early in the ball game, and it is good. And 10 to 7 lead here for the Elsick Rams. As we are 7.47 to go in the third quarter, you will watch my block. As we're back here on Vibe Live, and so far, a nice drive to open things up here in the third quarter for the Elsick Rams. And that, that was started by Tyrone Hughes' big kickoff return, Caden, and then he capped it off <laughs> with a huge touchdown reception there to give the Rams a lead here. Yeah, Tyrone Hughes made a couple big plays that last possession that started with special teams. And this ball's going to be caught, fair caught, right at the 34-yard line. <clears throat> We are split backfield, two wide receivers at the bottom of your screen. Change in that quarterback here for Taylor. And this is a strong running by the tailback. And it's going to get a face mask call as well. Torian Roberts lined up at quarterback here for Taylor. Going to set up a first and ten here. And again, a nice carry here. That is Adoye on the carry. Second and six. And it's going to be quickly swung out to Barrea. Barrea spinning around. And he's able to get close to the first down. Actually, he's going to pick up just enough for the first down here for the Lions. Some senior on senior action. Torian Roberts to Brandon Barrea. Brandon Barrea is proving it doesn't matter who throws the ball. He'll make plays. Yeah, he, he's been very dynamic. And here's a carry and busting through up the field. Nice, strong run at that time. Again, Odoye. Wow. And this looks like a different Rams. This is, a, this is like the Ram team I seen against Hasten a few weeks ago. Here's Roberts. <clears throat> Out of free play. And look. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a free play. That should be at a play on. I don't know why they blow the play dead. And I, I see now the offense is marching back. Okay, they call offsides on Taylor, not Elsie.
as still going to be second and seven here. And he's going to hand this off again. Strong running, able to pick up close to a first down. Rafael Quinones. First time we called his name tonight. Senior running back getting a chance to make some plays. Yeah, there's a couple of seniors now. You know, getting an opportunity to play some football here. This is a final match, a final game here for both ball clubs. And a lot of final game for a lot of these seniors. There's Torian Roberts again, another one to Keonez. Keonez fighting and able to pick up close to about a yard here. As the Lions now start to put together a drive of their own. Here's Roberts airing this one out. Sailing this deep, finding a man, number five. Brandon Ber Barrera takes this into the side inside the five yard line. I'm telling you, Brandon Barrera is a, is a, is a stud, man. He this really kid, is. This kid, I don't know, uh, division one, division two, he can play at the next level. Yeah. He, he's a dynamic perimeter wide receiver on the outside and his ability to high point the ball in mid air and make a play on it is definitely good enough to play at the next level. Quickly back up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Roberts going to hand this off to Keones again. Keones running behind his pass in the offensive line into the end zone. And that's going to be a touchdown. touchdown. Taylor. Back and forth in the second half we go. And this was the game we came in to spectate a very high score and affair between both these ball clubs. And now Taylor comes back with a quick strike of their own. And the PAT is up and it is good. And right now, Taylor leads us from 14 to 10 over A Leaf LC. You'll watch White Fly. Definitely talented. Five foot nine, one sixty. Okay. Hey, Tank Dale's only five nine. That's what, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, though. yeah. You don't got him. As we're back here on Vipe Live, as Taylor with an answer. On their opening drive here in the third quarter. So both teams come out in the third quarter. Offense is clicking here as key adjustments from the Rams and the Lions. Here's a kickoff. And it's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Trying to make something out of it. And another penalty flag comes flying. Multiple penalty flags flying. City officials sort this one out.
as the officials are meeting with both head coaches there at midfield. Officials and head coaches seem to sort this one out. Here's Dazi in the in the gun. He's gonna hand this one off to his tail back here. Try to get up field and he stopped in the backfield. That is Rolarian Phillips, sophomore. On the carrier. Will now be a second and twelve. Here's a snap, and he's gonna try to get up field. Steps on the guy, and finally pushed out of bounds there. No gain on the play. Dropping back, and he is finally brought down for a sack here for the Lions. What a big play by this defensive line. I believe that was Pierre Yamba getting in on the sack. Nice play. Now the Rams are going to have to punt from their own end zone. As this one's going to take a Rams bounce here. <coughs> As the Lions will take over inside the Rams territory with excellent field position. 146 to go here in the third quarter as the Lions lead this one 14 to 10 over the Rams. So what do you think, Gentre? Do you if you're a Leaf Taylor, do you lean on the run and try and drain some clock or Try and get the best of both worlds and march downfield and keep your foot on the gas. I'm keeping my foot on the gas. I'm letting this kid, Barrera, make plays down the field. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. He's been proving us he can. As they're going to hand this one off up to the middle for an inside zone play. Gain of six as his forward progress will be stopped right at the 40-yard line. No, 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 no,
in a pistol formation. Two wide receivers up top. He's going to to there and try to keep that one, but he's going to hand this off to Keonis as Keonis is going to take a loss on the play. Third and six. Here's the snap's gonna look left. And that's gonna be tended for Bear as he gets down for that one, makes the catch, and able to pick up the first down. <coughs> And that potentially can be the final play of the third quarter. As it looks like they're going to add an additional 15 yards on that one. If there was a penalty on the field. Did you see a penalty flag? I didn't see a penalty flag. I did not see one. I didn't see an official pick one up or throw one. Tacked on some extra yardage there. And that will be the final play of the third quarter as the Lions lead this one 14 to 10 over the Elsick Rams. One quarter to go. And as we have 12 minutes to go for some of these seniors' careers. And this will be the final time that they play football. As of now, the Rams lead this one, are trailing. 10 to 14 over the Lions, you'll watch by block. Willis is struggling? What? 21 to 14 over Oak Ridge at halftime. Willis, they only they only up by seven. Now Oak Ridge got them two Georgia commits at the linebacker, but you know, Ooh. DJ yeah, DJ Lagway, he's like the number one quarterback in the nation. He's been like going crazy this year, but this is the first time having a real close game. And welcome back here to Vipe Live as right now the Lions are Doing a good job here of picking up some yardage, and that will be third down. No shock here, Summer Creek leading a task seat of 27 to 14. As that Summer Creek defense has been legit all year long. And with opportunity to come in second place as picking up a, some yardage there and able to dash forward. As we third and two. Solved to Doye. Doye following behind his blockers, able to get inside the five yard line. It's going to set up first and goal. First to go, under 11 to go here in the fourth quarter.
Here's a bunch formation tight. And they're going to try to outflank him with a, a jet sweep, but nowhere to go that time. Want to carry Dylan Harris. He stops just short. Shotgun formation. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's going to keep it as he is tackled. They're right at the line of scrimmage. Under nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It's going to set up a third and goal. Caught up a couple of scores across the area as the Lions are going to take a timeout. Klein, Collins is so far leads Klein at halftime 14 to 7. Lamar, Los Fresnos is over Harlington 17 to 14. Katie Patel is trailing Katie Tompkins 7 to 17 in the fourth quarter. Katie dominating Katie Taylor 42 to 0 in the third quarter. Uh, Summit Creek over at Tascasita right now. That's it might be an upset for some people, but not an upset for me. Uh, it's 27-14. Summit Creek leads that one. Houston, Sam Houston leads West Side 6 to 0. Fort Ben Travis leads Fort Ben Bush 28 to 0 at halftime. As in Dickinson, 35 to 0 over Clearbrook. As we're back to play here. And Willis only up by 7 over Oak Ridge. That's the shocker. 21 to 14 at halftime. Here's an RPO over to the middle of the field. Wide open touchdown. That is caught by Christopher Robinson. What a play there. Nice play call there for the Rams. As they're going to take a 20 to 10 lead here. Nice play from the senior, Christopher Robinson, finding the end zone. Extending the Lions lead to two possessions now. Extra points up and good, so that's going to bring the Lions lead up to 11. As the Lions lead this one 21 to 10 over A Leaf Elsick. Stay tuned for the finish of this game. You're watching Fight Block. As we're back here on Vibe Live, and a nice drive there by A. Leaf Taylor, able to get into the end zone and go up 21 to 10 over the Elsick Rams. And as he's able to dash forward and get to the 25 yard line. Yeah. 
Eight minutes and 15 seconds left in this ball game. Plenty of time for Elsick. If they play with urgency to crawl back into this and fight. Yeah, they, they definitely have an opportunity here, Kate. They, um, they have the explosive play playmaker ability. They just got to see if they can get the ball on the perimeter. They've been trying to run up the middle and it just hasn't had too much success. See if they try to get the ball to the outside and maybe they can start to attack this Lions defense. And that was going to be incomplete there. Ball start here against Elsie. receiver in motion high snap play action and too high nearly picked off there by the Lions that was a very dangerous passing play there luckily it didn't result in six going the other way Third and long here for the Rams. Stepping up into the pocket. It's going to roll out right and throw this one all the way downfield. Wide receiver falls down. As they're going to just say his feet got tangled up in coverage. And it's going to be fourth and long here for the Rams. as they're going to have to sit on their punting unit. Brandon Barrera on the return for the Lions. As they get this one off. And Barrera's going to let this one take a bounce here. He's going to stay away from it. <laughs> 741 to go here in the fourth quarter. And so far, it's been a different A. Lee Taylor ball club here. In the second half, this offense has finally found their rhythm. And they've been able to put up two touchdowns so far and able to extend their lead. Uh, this is going to be another carry here. Kiannis on the carry. Second and 11. And this will be another carry here for Kiannis. Yes. Gonna run him right up the gut. Uh, pick up out of gaining. Gain of a yard on the play. Ball's gonna be spotted right near midfield. 
a little bit more towards the Rams territory. It's going to set up third and eight for Torian Roberts and company. Here's a snap. He's going to throw this one. And that is, he is quickly brought down after a quick wide receiver screen. That was caught by Bryce Franklin there. to be a quick three and out for the Lions. Delay a gain here for the Rams. I mean, excuse me, for the Lions. block and get this one off and they're going to pick this up try to make a play out of it and as he tries to hurl a defender he is brought down out of bounds nice return there Sam Martisilian on the return the decent return gets this close to Lion territory going to be pivotal on this drive if Elsick ha has a comeback in, in the Call a timeout? Yeah, I think the Rams just called a timeout there. They like to talk things over, so we're going to take a timeout with them. You'll watch right black. Back here on Vibe Live, third and nine here for the Ra for the Rams. They're gonna roll out right. Daz is gonna throw this way downfield. Double coverage. 
And that's going to be knocked down there. As a penalty flag comes flying on both from both officials. Nearly intercepted by Quincy Kibble. Automatic first down here for the rounds. 4.35 to go here in the fourth quarter. And that, that is going to drop back and he's going to again scramble up the middle and able to charge ahead for a gain of nine that time. Quickly again, Eric just doing a good job of scrambling so far. This one might be coming back. back from the holding call and that's going to set up a second 11 here for the Rams. High snap finally gets it under control and a little sporadic footwork there in the pocket and he is brought down by none other than Yamba who's been a menace all wow. night long. Yeah, that was Pierre Yamba getting in on us again. He's a very impressive player as well here on this Lions ball club. Here's a snap. And he's going to look downfield. This is going to be nearly caught. And complete pass. Collected off Jaquincy Kibble. Yeah, Jaquincy Kibble went up and got that, but uh, Dejan, Dejan Patterson was the attendant receiver and just couldn't hold that one in. Fourth down here for the Rams. 3.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. And any chance of a comeback, they're going to have to somehow convert this fourth and 20. Eric feeling the pressure and he gets this one off and able to pick up a first down and way much more high stepping touchdown Rams all right big but, time fourth and long answer right there touchdown exactly what the Rams needed the juice that they was desiring that's Phillips getting into the end zone and just like that we got ourselves a ball game 256 to go 21 and 16 and if you're the Rams, I wonder if you should go for two here to make it a, a three-point game instead of a four-point game. A field goal. Is they going to go for the PAT here? I was wondering the same thing. And the PAT is up, and it is good. So they're going to just they're going to elect to take the one point there. And. See, that time, that, that situation, Caden, this is just me. I mean, I'm, of course, I'm in the booth. I'm on the microphone. I'm not a head coach. But I'm going for two there uh, just to make it a field goal game just in case we, get, we can get the ball back. And so all I need is a field goal. My field goal kicker has already proven he has, a, he has enough leg. He, he, he hit a 32-yarder the first possession of the game. So interesting decision there to take the one-point uh, one conversion. 
I mean, even if you don't get it, you know, you still be in the same situation you are now and needing a touchdown to go up. Right. That point doesn't help you in the circumstances necessarily. Uh, so, but getting two yeah. would have made an impact. A, a, a big impact in the game. To set up for the onside kick here and you can see the lions have their hands team out on the football field 21 to 17. again the lions did excuse me the rams did use a timeout to start things here in the second half is this one did go 10 yards but out of bounds wow that they did use that timeout at 10 47 here in the third quarter to start the first half the second half uh they just was running out. Of, I don't know if they was avoiding a delay again. I can't remember, but I remember them using a timeout very early here in the third quarter, and we're going to see how much that comes back to bite them. Here are the Lions now who's going to look to run the football. His Keonis gets to the outside and able to pick up some good yardage there. About a gain of seven on the play. And that's going to set up a second and three for the Lions. They're going to wind this one all the way down before they snap it here. And this time it's going to be Adoye just picking up a big time first down there. Stopping the clock at 2.08. And, you know, the chances of victory every snap for the Rams, the, the percentage chances going down every, you know, after every first down. Yeah, they do that on ESPN, like a uh, percentage of chance to win at this point in the game. Mm -hmm. Now, they still have a shot. They, they do have a shot. And they're going to run this one ahead. See when the... Uh, they only have one timeout left through the Rams. And I'm not sure. I don't, no, they don't have enough timeouts to. No. They got to force a fumble here if they want to get the ball back. Because with a minute left, you got one timeout. Right now, currently 14 seconds left on the play clock. They can wind this all the way down about 46 seconds. And, yeah, they could take a knee. Honestly, right now, if you're Taylor, you could take a knee, even if they call a timeout. Yeah. You could have liked to take a knee, regardless. 45 seconds left on the game clock. And it's, and it's second down. Yeah, there's not much right now the Rams could do here. And as far as Taylor, this is going to be a big win. This is going to be able to push them to four and six to finish off the year. I mean, for the Lions and the, the, the Rams, they're going to also fall to four and six. So these two teams very evenly matched up. They're going to finish with the same record at the end of the year. And uh, what a year here in the A-Leaf district. Uh, we, we had an opportunity to watch the, uh, the Rams play Hastings and uh, Hastings play Taylor. And now we're seeing Taylor and Elsick. Uh, but this district has a lot of potential going into next year with a lot of prolific playmakers returning. Just off the top of my head, I, I can think of for Hastings, a Rogue Bowl, 
the defensive end, number 11 for Hastings. He, he's, he was only a junior, mm. six foot four, 220. And both games I covered him, he was just a menace on the outside. And we've seen in this game, you know, there's going to be some players returning as well. So plenty of talent returning in this district. It's going to be even more exciting next year. But as this one comes to an end, we'll see what Taylor elects to do here. As they're going to go bunch tight. And they're going to hand this off. And right now, ball security has to be the number one priority. As the Rams are going to take a timeout. That's their final timeout. Okay, with 39 seconds left. And it's going to be third and four. And yeah, that right now, if you're Taylor, just need to kneel the ball. I wouldn't even risk the possibility. You've already fumbled on that very, very first drive of the game. You don't want to run the risk of fumbling here and giving Elsick any type of daylight in this ball game. Yeah, I mean, with under 40 seconds left on the game clock, I would I would guess, and it being third down, that uh, Taylor should just get victory formation. Yeah. Call this a wrap. But if you're on the other side of the coin, if you're an Elsick guy, say you bring the house and try and hope for a bad snap or some kind of thing to keep your hope alive. Bad snap, or if they do decide to run the football, Hold up the running back and everybody just start stripping. Start <laughs> stripping at the football. Yeah. And if, if it pops out the right way, one of your skill position players could take it and house it. It's possible. We're going to see if Taylor going to make this one more suspensive. And they're going to take a timeout as well. Both teams have used all their remaining timeouts now. So as the season comes to a close here, Caden, and uh, what has been uh, one of the it, it doesn't have to you know be in relation to A League, but what's been one of the more impressive teams you've been able to cover this year? Uh, I was pretty impressed with Elif Taylor tonight. And uh, Brandon Barrera's big playability and Pierre Yamba on the defensive side getting in, causing so much disruption and chaos. I think uh, the big playmakers on both sides of the field for Elif Taylor was a, a pleasure to watch. What about you? Sticking in this dish, I'm going to have to go with uh, Taylor as well. They uh, Both games I covered them, they won. They beat Hayson and now beat Nelson. Mm. Uh, they definitely looked apart in both of those matchups and now, this is a program that's heading in the right direction and a great coaching staff. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the future of this program as it continues on the upper trajectory. And 16 seconds to go, and that's going to be it. And as we was mentioning, Caden, this is going to be the final time some of these seniors will ever wear the, the helmet, the shoulder pads, and, you know, all the memories that the long practices and the journeys and to all those young men out there, I just tell you, man, this, this football is gonna is always gonna change your life and make you a better man moving forward. Uh, you're gonna just have a, a different type of work ethic than the next person. It's helped me tremendously, and I'm looking forward to watching these men become prosperous young men in our community. Absolutely, and win or lose, both teams fought really hard and deserve to hold their heads up high. Yeah, both. So, well fought. Well fought ball game here is the. A. Lee Taylor is going to win this one 21 to 17 over the Elsick Rams. And that's going to do it for his, here, us here tonight. Any final thoughts, Kate? Not off the top of my head. I just uh, looking forward to the playoffs. Oh, yeah. The playoffs in H Town. Oh, it's about to get lit. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm excited. There's some teams Willis, North Shore, Lamar, Tasks. I, I could go on and on. Hightower. This the playoffs is going to be an exciting. Download the Vibe Live app, or not the app, but follow us, subscribe. We'll have you covered here. I'm Dentre Williams, Caden. We're signing off. Peace and love, everyone. Have a good night.